Hey, hello everybody. This is the first view I've had of the project with the revised fairings. I'm much, much happier with them. They initially went more out. That was because of an optical illusion of that, that secondary panel that runs down there, but now they're very in line with the curvature of the canopy. Today is a, uh, a monumental day in that, in terms of this portion of the project, all of the bulkheads have been cut and installed. The rest of the major work just lies in here where this is all a, a very unknown area to me. I don't, I don't know what's here. All I know is that this angle will continue up and then carry it back to the fuselage. There's probably just stringers or something going on there. Whenever I finish the frame, which needs to come out there, whenever I get that metal in there, and this needs to be straight, these curves are wrong. I'll have a better idea of how this all goes together. I am tickled pink that these fairings are done. It's probably one of the areas that I've, I've studied and looked forward to making the most since day number one. I hope I nailed them. There may be a little bit of alterations that are required in the rear because the good pictures that I do have don't really show. It's kind of fuzzy right there. All I know is that there's 11 bulkheads forward to aft and that's exactly what I've got and then they kind of fell into place using the same curvature I, I really think that's going to work you can see on this side now that we can take a step back where I've straightened that area there could be a little bit of straightening in order right there but it's one of the last things I'm going to do once I get the canopy completely framed and on the fuselage like I said in earlier videos, I'm going to go back. These are the dimensions from the actual airplane, but I want them to be perfectly straight. We'll get there. Plus, mind you, they're going to be covered up with aluminum. And I'm going to also add that, that decorative curb on each one of these. So that'll conceal that a little bit. Flight engineer panel looks killer with the zinc chromate bulkhead 3.0 I'm gonna have to buckle down and start making some mock-ups in this area to see if it all fits in there with the canopy once that's done then I can finalize the canopy and of course once that's done I'll get this part done I moved this area out just a little bit more it used to be right up there, but now it's moved out. That'll add for the engineer's clipboard holder. I'm gonna to have to assume that Convair actually cut that frame because there's no way I can figure it out. My dimensions are spot on with the actual aircraft. So we're just gonna assume they did that. There's a few instances where they cut bulkheads It's really, I'm really, really happy with that. This is gonna come up, angle down, and then that secondary piece is gonna flatten it out. I'm out of 20 gauge aluminum, but if I had a sheet of 20 gauge aluminum, I would absolutely, positively, uh, at least the front portion, skin it. But I'm probably going to wait and see, see what goes on up there. I'm just happy to have them done. Really happy. That will definitely work. Yeah. 
I want to say hello and thank you for subscribing, all you new people. I love uh, reading comments and responding to them the fastest I can. Don't be afraid to speak your mind on my channel. This is this is a place where we uh, we focus on getting things right and academics and whatnot. We're, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you want to point out an inaccuracy. I, I cannot learn if you do not tell me what I'm doing wrong. There are some things that, that I'm doing wrong intentionally. One of the things that I do wrong intentionally is, is I don't place too much of an emphasis on craftsmanship in areas in which I don't understand in the third dimension where they actually go. I don't want to spend days working on a, a specific area to find out where it ties in up here. It's dead wrong and I wasted all my time. So, man, she looks good. If I do say so myself, that is. I'll see you next time.